can you solve this geometry challenge? Here's the question. Let's begin with a quarter circle and let's draw a rectangle inside of it wherein this segment measures 3 centimeters and this segment measures 6 centimeters. Then our goal in this question is to find the area of the shaded region. Now pause the video right now and see if you can answer this question. And of course, if you're done, put your answers on the comment section down below. Now, let's see if you got the correct answer. So, given this figure, our goal is to find the area of this rectangle. Now, to answer this question, what we're going to do is to draw first the radius of this quarter circle. But, in this point of intersection of the rectangle and the quarter circle, like this. And we know, since it is a radius, let's call this as R. And now, the whole thing is the radius of our quarter circle. In short, the measure of this segment or the height of our rectangle is just r minus 3. And the base of our rectangle, since this is the whole radius, so this is just r minus 6. Alright, now we can now find the area of this rectangle. This is just the product of the base and the height which is r minus 3 multiplied by r minus 6. Now, the question is how do we find the value of r? Now, here's the key. We will use this right triangle with the side length r minus 6. This is also r minus 3 and with the hypotenuse of r. So using Pythagorean theorem, we have a squared plus b squared equals c squared. We can let a with their sides. So A and B are the legs of this right triangle, and the C is the hypotenuse. So we have R minus 3 raised to the power of 2 plus R minus 6 raised to the power of 2 equals R squared. Now, if we expand R minus 3 squared and R minus 6 squared, we have something like R squared minus 6 R plus 9. This is R minus 3 raised to the power of 2. And we have plus R squared minus 12 R plus 36. This is the expansion of r minus 6 raised to the power of 2, then bring down r squared. Now, let's focus on this result. And what we're going to do is to subtract r squared on both sides to eliminate these r squareds. So we have here r squared minus 6 r plus 9 minus 12 r plus 36 equals 0. Now, let's combine like terms. Negative 6 r minus 12 r. This is just negative 18 r. And the 9 plus 36 is just 45. So let's focus on this quadratic equation in terms of r. And this quadratic equation is not hard to factor because if we think of this 45, 45 is just negative 3 times negative 15. And if we add negative 15 and 3, we have negative 18. So we can factor this quadratic equation as r minus 3 multiplied by r minus 15. And of course, this is equal to 0, so at least one of them must be equal to 0. So we found two values for r. The first one is r equals 3, and the other r is 15. So we found two possible values for r. Now the question is which one is correct value for r? So let's analyze the figure. Now we know the legs of this right triangle or the base and the height of this rectangle cannot be equal to zero or cannot be a negative number. So r cannot be equal to three because three minus three is zero, three minus six is negative three. So r equals three is not part of our solution. r equals three cannot be the length of the radius of our quarter circle. Therefore, the only valid value for r is equal to 15 centimeters. So this is the value of r or the radius of this quarter circle. And now we can now find the area of this rectangle using this expression r minus 3 multiplied by r minus 6. We know the value of r is 15. So we have 15 minus 3 multiplied by 15 minus 6. 15 minus 3 is 12. 15 minus 6 is 9. 12 times 9 is 108. Therefore, the area of the rectangle 
is 108 square centimeters. Therefore, given this figure, the area of the shaded region is simply equal to 108 square centimeters. And as always, we are done.